Hey guys, so I kind of got halfway through your reading and looked at the computer and realized that the camera had frozen. So I'm just going to recap and then we'll continue um, with your crowning thoughts. I was shuffling for your crowning thoughts and I just looked over and it's like, ah, uh, here we go with this bullshit. So anyway, um, the energy that is around you is the hermit, which is Virgo energy. Okay, so it's like you, you've kind of isolated yourself. Um, you're on reserve. You're, you're trying to reserve or preserve your energy. But you're looking for answers to something from the past here. Okay, now in the past, we have the Two of Pentacles here. And this is having a lot of responsibilities, um, a lot of priorities that need equal amounts of energy and attention. And so you're trying to figure out, you know, what should you do? What's the best course of action here? What's challenging you is a Four of Cups, Cancer energy. Now, what's challenging you is actually to get your emotions in check, to get to a place of stability emotionally, okay? I feel like there's also someone else here that has... Um, you, you feel like they're not as interested, they're, they're complacent, they're not doing as much to get your attention. And so I feel like you guys have kind of taken your attention away from them because you feel like that's what they're doing. So it's like I'm not going to, I, I want somebody that wants me is what I'm getting from you. So even if you like this person a lot, if they act like they're pulling away, then you're going to pull away is what I'm sensing here from you guys. Okay, now the underlying issue here is this person's not giving you the attention that you want. Six of Wands, Leo energy. They're not making you feel like you're special. They're not making you feel like, okay, you guys can move forward and be successful together. And I feel like you are like kind of rewinding um, time in your head and trying to figure out like what went wrong did you not do enough did you do too much and it's like you're going over this and over this and over this and you're kind of like removing yourself from the situation without physically removing yourself i feel like you're pulling away is what's going on here so <clears throat> let's see what your crowning thoughts are crowning thoughts and for some of you too what i noticed is that um, there may have been a situation where there was more than one person for you guys and you were trying to like divvy up your time um, and somebody may have felt like they weren't getting enough of you um, or a situation where this person felt like you had more time for other situations like your home, your children, your family and not enough time for them, okay? Let's see. Grounding thoughts for Libra. Grounding thoughts for Libra. Ace of Swords. Something you're trying to figure out. But, you know, I'm getting that you guys feel like you already know what the deal is here. You know what the truth is. Some of you feel like you've wasted your time in this situation with this person. Something you feel like you've seen previously and maybe that you um you kind of looked over but now you're like looking back at it with the freaking magnoscope um magnifying glass rather <laughs> magnoscope microscope um so now you're like picking things you know apart but you feel like you already know what the deal is here with this person what's coming in for libra the magician I feel like you guys are going to use your wits to maneuver out of this. Um, this is Gemini uh, Virgo energy here. I feel like you are the one that is the determining factor in how your situation plays out. You have the power. And I feel like you are going to realize that in the month of November going into December that um, you are an active um, participant in your own love story here. It is what you make it. 
And I think some of you are coming to realize that after you have time to reflect on everything that has happened before, okay? How is Libra viewing their situation? How is Libra viewing their situation? Hmm. Some of you feel foolish in this situation. And you're wanting to just let it go. Wanting to start over. Some of you are wanting to get out of this. Some of you have already gotten out of this. I feel like there is still someone here that's waiting on, just like waiting on you to give them your energy. And you're just like, mm, I'm over this. I'm on to something else for some of you, okay? Aries energy there. What is the influence here for Libras? Ten of Pentacles. I think you're more concerned with having stability in your home. Um, feeling secure. Having somebody that is committed. I don't really think that... Um, I don't really think that your emotions are that invested for some reason I'm hearing in this situation. I feel like you're more invested in your personal security than in this person, to be honest with you. You want to make sure that your home life is everything, with or without this person. Your peace of mind. Establishing something for yourself and your family. A lot of you are single parents, I feel. Hmm. I feel like you want somebody too that is truly committed and you feel the commitment coming from them. There's no question about it. You guys want unquestionable loyalty too. And I mean, who doesn't? But I'm, I'm getting that very strongly for you. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for, okay, Libra. Okay, I got something going on here. Oh, Five of Pentacles. Instability. Your fear is instability. Your fear is that somebody's just going to up and leave. And you will be caught off guard. Your fear is rejection. You'd rather leave somebody before they have a chance to leave you is what I'm getting here. Taurus energy there. What's the overall outcome for Libras? Overall outcome for Libra. Oh. Ooh. All of these came face up. Oh my gosh. So... We have the Nine of Swords here. Just worry. Just worry for no freaking reason, guys. Queen of Swords there. Feeling hurt. Feeling, um, what, what is the word? Kind of going back and forth. I feel like um, a lot of passive aggressiveness. Because I'm feeling like when you guys get hurt, then you like, you know, you lash out. But you lash out. subtly or you say nice words I take that back nope you you say <laughs> you say not so nice words in a nice way is what I'm getting here sometimes you may actually lash out and say something hurtful but very like um calmly and and where you can where you can almost take it back or it be misconstrued as as something else even. Then we have the Seven of Wands being very defensive of yourself and your actions here. Then we have um, the Tower energy there. Uh, Scorpio, I feel, or Aries energy. Very kind of volatile. Um, easily angered. Nine of Wands and feeling defensive. Feeling very defensive. Nines and sevens are like, <coughs> excuse me, single, single energy. Like you're doing things for yourself. 
and um, really not taking into consideration how somebody else feels but you know all about what it is that that you want and what you need mm. so I feel like you guys are you know you're having some turmoil here and I feel that whoever this person is they're about to be cut the fuck out because um, I think something's getting on your nerves in regards to this person and it's making you want to lash out it's making you want to be nice nasty with them um, but I feel like this is a defense mechanism for you guys here you know just leaving before you can actually be hurt because you just don't want to go through that bullshit okay so you guys are definitely I feel like a wounded warrior you probably have a history of of being hurt and people just kind of like overstepping your boundaries and you're at the point where you're like no more you're hyper vigilant okay so that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon oh this is Gemini um, Leah Sagittarius energy as well up here okay guys bye now